Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Autonotom. And as you can see, I have a very rudimental auto crafting system set up. Um, I did, I was looking for videos and I could find videos where somebody had an auto crafting set up and they were using it in their let's play and whatever, but nothing that kind of told you what you need to, not like a tutorial tutorial. And some of the tutorials I found were like three or four years old. And I didn't really want to go that far back because some things have changed. So you don't want to go back because I've seen that for, um, for example, with like the inscribers and stuff before you had to craft some extra things. And some of the, some of the um, tutorials would be like, well, OK, you need to craft X, Y and Z. And it's like, but that doesn't exist anymore. So I didn't really want to go back too far. But um, I did find a tutorial by the Minecrafters. It was from 2016. And um, they were very, it seems to be like for the, for the most recent version of Applied Energistics. And they were very good in, in explaining what you need to do. Although um, it did get kind of like, um, I did get a bit too much of my little mind to handle, but I did get the basics. So, and that's really what I need at the moment. I know you can use your your auto crafting setup to make um, uh, processors and that kind of thing, but I couldn't really work it out properly. So I've been doing stuff manually, but I have, I'll go to my ME interface, I have, made patterns for um, for making more patterns for quartz glass for making one four 16 and 64k storage components because I will need to make those to make more drives because as you can see some are orange some are green and the ones that are orange are the lower what I should have done is try and try to craft 64k drives and get that out the way but I didn't so I have there's a 1k in there there's a 4k in there I think there might be a 16k in there and they are all getting full and then I'm going to have to export into a new drive which is really annoying but there you go or I could just add actually I could ju probably just add another ME drive on top with the new drives in it rather than have it rather than pulling these out and putting them into new drives which is probably what I'm going to do so um, I've been mining I've been smelting stuff um, I've been crushing things I did add more to my um, thermoelectric setup outside because I was looking at this and seeing it flickering and I was convinced that it wasn't getting an, an, enough energy. Energy, that's what I want to hear? Yeah. So I um, I updated outside. And then while I was watching the old crafting tutorial, all of their ME controllers were flickering like that. So I don't know why I didn't... I don't know why I thought it wasn't getting enough. I think I've seen some mod packs where once the ME controller has power, it's solid. But now I'm coming to think about it, I might be confusing it with refined storage, which has a very similar setup. setup. So um, that might be it, that I'm thinking of refined storage, because I think once that has enough power, it, the colour goes solid. But this, as long as it's flashing, well, if I hover over it, it says it's using 15.95 KRF out of 16 KRF. So I should have seen it has enough. But... The vis it was the visual thing that got me, but now I'm explaining it to you guys. I think I'm confusing it with refined storage, which has a similar thing. So yeah, so there was I, I wasted time. Well, I didn't really waste time because the energy will be used, but you know I did I did spend a bit of time doing that, and then realizing I didn't need to. So now that I've set up, actually before I say that. Let me just quickly, for those of you who don't know about auto crafting and stuff, um, basically um, I put down my 
storing crafted storing craftage crafting storage that's it and you can put it down in any shape as long as it's a rectangular shape so I could have it well here I've got it in a um, a two by two if I take one out they go back to looking like how they do in your inventory and then as soon as you add one as soon as you make it rectangular it will it will change because obviously it's a multi-block so I could have these as a, a cube I can have these as a one by something as long as it's rectangular in shape that will validate it I have the ME pattern terminal on top which accesses um, the storage but here you can make patterns so you put your blank patterns here remember we got some as a reward and you can make a pattern here or you can change it to make a processing pattern where you can use machines so you can hook up your your auto crafting setup to include machines and then you can craft so for example some people will I think actually I think somebody made a comment I'm really sorry I can't remember your name off the top of my head but they made a comment saying that um, they use the inscriber to not the inscriber they use the auto crafting setup along with the inscriber to make to to make the processes I'm not a hundred percent on how to do that I'm going to have to I'm more of a visual learner so I'm going to have to actually see a system and see how to do it before I can set it up here all right so I know it can be done but I'm not a hundred percent sure on how to do it so if I can if I can see a system like that then I'd probably be able to replicate it and get it to work so for example um I'm just trying to think of something we would need a pattern for oh we will be doing um getting the excavation going uh there's black gold and there's the excavator because I'm realizing we still have like the industrial stuff to get more power we haven't finished it so we need to do that what's this uh, alternating current okay but I want to do these three and then do these and then get this out of the way because we're almost finished with this unless of course it expands even more but hopefully it doesn't and then um, then we can probably properly get into mechanical upgrades so we will get there I promise we will fancy energy storage ooh basic energy cube okay I would never noticed that before let's have a look basic energy um, induction cell basic energy cube energy tablets enriched alloy and of course you need the mater the metallurgic infuser okay well that will be something to look at soon but let's finish off the immersive engineering I realize I'm going all over the place but it's as I need stuff and it now that we have our storage set up it's a lot easier to do this other stuff because now we have everything in one place so this week I want to do um where are we uh, uh What's this? Black gold. Okay, we can leave. I want. I want to go down to the to the excavator. So we'll do that first. So some of this stuff we can make patterns for, and then it will be able to encode it, and we can make them quicker. So let's ha let's try that actually, because I haven't tried it. So we have no idea how it's going to work, but you know this is where we try stuff so let's have a look wrong button right we need steel scaffolding I don't think I've ever made steel scaffolding so let's have a look steel oh I have 25 scaffolding all right I have some 
Okay, great. So to make steel scaffolding, I need steel ingots and steel rods. Is this worth making patterns for? I don't know. But we'll make a pattern for it anyway. And then we can, um, because when you don't need the patterns, you can, you can clear them. And steel rods are two steel ingots. Okay. So if we go to our pattern terminal, we want to make steel rods. So that is that. Put that in. Um, you've got blank patterns up here. You press the button. No, not processing. It's crafting. Encoding, sorry. Press the button and it will make our pattern. Right, so if you substitutions okay does that make a difference I don't know but I think if you shift right click that will make it yeah that will turn it blank all right let's put the pattern back in I've changed this to all dictionary substitutions allow substitution of input components I think that will work so then it will use any kind of steel as opposed to just um, um, immersive engineering steel. So put that in, encoded pattern, so four steel, four steel rods with two steel and it can use substitutions, great. Then if you want steel scaffolding. Okay, so the steel ingots and we allow substitution. I think I'm just going to leave that on for now. And we want the pattern, so this that pattern there. So if I put these two in, there you go, so we've got the four steel rods and we've got the steel scaffolding if we go back can we do it from here or we can do it from the from the pattern terminal as well so we could have just have the one terminal rather than three of them because this one's the me interface terminal oh this shows you all the patterns that you have right so we could use this we could use the pattern terminal if we wanted to but i'll just go with this because it's just simpler so the crafting terminal, if I click on view and go by craftable, I want to craft steel scaffolding. I want one, no. Oh. Um, let's make two. Next. So it's got available rods, available ingots, and it will make six scaffolding and start. And then you're supposed to be able to click somewhere and see. But I don't know where you can click and see what's happening. I've seen some somewhere you can see it in the molecular assembler. But I don't know. But then let's go back here. View stored. And we want scaffolding. Because we had 25 before I think. And now we've got 31, so it did make it. Okay, let's take that out. What else do we need? Um, 15 sheet metal. Steel sheet metal, I should have said. Um, steel. So, steel sheet metal. okay all right so this is where all right let's see if we can do this then because for uh, steel sheet all right to get that you need the steel plates blank pattern and engineer's hammer okay what did that say Crafts one steel plate with one engineer's hammer and gives you one steel ingot. 
Okay. Um, and that goes there. I think I'm going to need another molecular assembler. If I remember correctly, you can have one ME interface, but you can have molecular assemblers around it so that it it can craft more things. So let's have a look because we've used up these are stored patterns. But if I put this No, I don't know what that did. Encoded pattern. Okay, I don't know what that did. Does that mean I can put it up here instead? No. Not sure. Okay. Um, but these are stored. I can always take these out. I don't know how to make the interface bigger or smaller. Alright, let's try this anyway. And then the sheet metal. Now we got the sheet metal. We want um, steel. Okay. Alright, so for now, let's do a swap. Right, we don't need the blank patterns at the moment. We put that in. So if we say, no, nope, let's use this one. Don't confuse ourselves. View craftable. Yeah, the blank patterns are no longer there because we've taken those out. We need 14. What are we making? The excavator. We need 26. So craft. 16 oh you know what I probably all right craft 16 and 16 are 32 and minus that next all right so there's available and to craft and start so if we show stored and sheet, there you go, it's making it. It made 31. We want 32. All right, so craftable. We just want, let's say we want two. Next. And then if we go to stored, and put sheet. Now we've got 35. Okay. Did we need the. No, we wanted 26. I don't know why I have 30 in my head. Okay. But we have what we need. We have what we need. We wanted 26. Okay. Alright, this isn't too bad. I'm liking the crafting thing. Yeah, I'm not sure. We're going to have to keep swapping out patterns until I, s until I work out how to do it. All right, what's the next thing? Um, light engineering blocks. We have those, right? No, we don't. Uh, why is it not engine? Yes, we do. So we've got redstone, we've got heavy. Oh, we don't have we don't have light engineering blocks. Okay. So two, that makes two. Again, let's make a pattern out of that. So that and that. Oh, what are we missing? Iron mechanical components. All right. Um, we need to make those. Oh no! I thought we needed. Are we? 
iron, okay. And then, okay, thank you, Minecraft. So if we take that out for now, and make uh, all right why is that not there we put it in right oh because there's oh do is is it because we need iron plates All right, well then, let's put that in then. Okay, so um, let's take that one out. There you go. Right, so we need to craft. Can we get a stack of those? Yes. And then we need to craft that. Can we get 16 of those? And no craft. Oh, there you go. So then to make, right, so we need to make some more blank patterns. Uh, blank patterns. So can we make a stack? We're missing 128 quartz glass. Okay. Can I click on, no, it's not going to. Okay. Quartz glass. No, that's just going to put it in there. All right. Oh, we got 16 in there. Did it make 16 before it stopped? Uh, let's put that there. Take that out. Quartz glass. All right, we want to make 128. Uh, we're missing, really? All right, so we can't make a stack. Do I have any quartz in here? No, I probably have quartz in my system. All right, let's go and we probably should have burnt two stacks, not burnt, pulverized two stacks. Okay, so that's going. So yeah, fun with auto crafting. Is that a, there's an enderman. Why is there an enderman? Let's go see if we can kill him. He's in my little room. He's not in my base. He's right here. Oh, there he is. He's in the doghouse. Hello, enderman. Oh, yeah, the dog's, dog's got him. <laughs> that was quite funny. I didn't know the dogs could do that. I thought, well, seeing that they're sitting there, that's fine. Well, we killed an enderman. No, it's not what I want. That's what I want. And Ed, uh, overcome your enemies. Yeah, we just killed an enderman. You saw it. Happened on camera. Hello, dog. 
and it didn't register yeah I mean we knew it was balked but there you go it's balked unless it was because the dogs killed him and I didn't I don't know but it was killed are you still going you're still going All right, we're going to have to wait around until I get some more dust. Actually, why am I trying to make a stack? Why don't I make like 10? That's the problem. I don't need to make a stack. I was just kind of like, well, maybe I could, but I don't actually need to. Uh, shove you in. Uh, quartz glass, can we make 16? Yes. Okay, and then... Why were we trying to make quartz glass? Oh, to make patterns. Thanks, dogs. Uh, blank patterns. Can we make 16? All right, let's get our blank patterns from out of here. It's taken me a while to get used to it. All right, we got 32, all right. Let's put these in here, pattern terminal. And then uh, what were we trying to make? Light engineering blocks. Okay, there we go. All right, so Emmy interface. If we take out the blank pattern, put back in the light engineering block. What are these? 1K, the sheet metal. We wanted the sheet metal and the 4K. Right, let's go back. Let's see if we can do this now. Um, craftable. Right, how many... Let's do both. How many, how many light engineering blocks do we have? We have none. Alright, okay, so I didn't have to keep changing it. If I just type it in, I could put craft. Okay. And we need 10. So, 16 minus one okay we can do it start and then if i do light it's made the 10. that's not bad okay and we've done black black we have uh not you mr enderman black gold uh, this one because apparently it uses pretty much the same stuff okay well we'll claim our loot chest that's not what we were going for but that's okay all right excavation and so all we're missing now is the radiator block right right we need two more Alright, let's get some... Do we have water? We have one. We have bucket. Now I see why they talk about having your fluid storage and stuff. So things that need buckets of water and such, you can drag them into your, your thing. I can apply... Yeah, your applied energistic storage is extremely powerful, but only if you know how to use it. So it's pretty much like having, um, I don't know, a Lamborghini, but you've only just passed a driver's test. So yeah, if you don't know how to use it, it's not going to be much good to you, or you can't even drive yet. That's the other thing. All right, let's put the water in. Oh, if you hold down shift, it shows what patterns you have. That's pretty cool. All right, let's put the water in. 
and what did we want? Radiator block. Alright, pattern. Alright, radiator. Alright, so that's there. Put that in. Make a pattern. And we want two, so that's fine. Um, take out this one. And say we want a radiator block. Oh, we want one, and we need to craft two more. So it says it has everything, and start. Excellent. So that should now complete. There you go. And again, let's claim our loot chest. Okay. The excavator produces 4,000 RF per tick. 4,000? Yes, 4,000 RF per tick. Alright, so at least we've got that. So of course now, I'm going to have to go and have a look and see how to, how to play with it. And then next week we can have a play. I'll see if, what else I can make and then we can come back and use them next week. Glowstone and find obsidian, that's fine. What was the other thing? And, oh, ender tanks, nice. Okay, I don't think we had any ender tanks. There's only one way to find out. No, those, that's excellent. So, anyway, um, it's the end of the episode. We've done everything we needed to do, which was have a bit of a play with the auto crafting, and we got a little bit further in our um in completing our expansive imme imm immersively Ex expand what that didn't make sense to me expanding immersively that's it. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.